Welcome to our July Yoga for Runners and Cyclists routine here. Um, as always, no fancy equipment needed, just a little bit of space, and we can go straight for it today. So, all that we need to do to begin with is come up to all fours. The easiest way to get into this position is through all fours, but you can do it from seated. We're going to bring your left knee forwards and wrap it around your right leg. Okay, so we want your knees to stay as close together as possible. Separate your feet and then come to seated. So you can see, you can get into this position just by sat downs, by pulling the legs across them and sitting up tall, but it's, that's the easiest way to get into this one. Once we're here, we want to stay up nice and tall. Place the hands in front of you and walk the body forwards. So you should be feeling a really strong stretch into this left hip. Now what some of you might find is the body wants to kind of come over to this left side. If it does, just sit yourself onto a book or a block, a cushion, anything you've got knocking around, just to lift yourself up a little bit higher and you'll find that you can stay more central. This top knee still might come up a little bit and that's not a problem at all, but you do want to get yourself as central as you can. So you're bringing yourself forwards, and getting that stretch into the left hip there. Just when you're here, try and stay nice and long. Temptations sometimes kind of collapse through the spine. Always think about form, so keep your spine nice and long. And then when you're ready, bring yourself up. And to come out of it, you can just lean back and the legs will kind of spring free. Okay. So this next move we're going into, it's kind of two in one. So. We're going to take it into a lunge and you're going to bring your upper body up nice and tall, hands onto the front thigh, sink the hips forwards. Good. So what we're looking to do right now is get a little bit of a stretch into this thigh here. Front of the thigh, the front of the hip. And we're going to take this and try and move a little bit deeper into it. So if we take our arms out wide, turn to the right hand side. You'll bring your right hand down to the back of your left leg. Your left hand's going to go up high. So this is taking that same stretch just a little bit further. We're still trying to drop the hips forwards. a really good way of opening up the hips. And we bring ourselves back up. Arms are just there for balance as well a little bit whilst we're doing this. From here, this is our kind of third move, but it comes from the same position. I'm going to bring your right hand, place it onto the inside of that right thigh or knee, and then we're going to push the knee out to the side. So we're still trying to drop the hips, so you still might be feeling a bit of a stretch here, but we're really trying to open up that right hip now. Now I'm going to come front on just so you can see exactly what's going on there. So once we've dropped in, we're just pushing that leg out to the side. Okay, so we're just opening up through here into the hip, that pelvis getting a bit more movement there. Then when we're ready, we push it back in. Ease away from the lunge, and you're back onto all fours. Of course, you're going to repeat those on the other side as always, but uh, there's your three moves for July. I shall see you in August. Thanks a lot. Happy riding.